the Republican nominee for governor in North Carolina called himself a, quote, black Nazi and wished slavery would return to America. Could the GOP really not get anyone else to run in the key swing state? And what it all means for the presidential race? Welcome to the No Spin Zone. Graphs Grievances starts right now. Former President Donald Trump has corrupted the Republican Party. They are now running a self-described black Nazi for governor in a key swing state that could determine who wins the White House in November. Thanks to excellent reporting from CNN, we now know that Mark Robinson, the Republican nominee for governor of North Carolina, posted a series of racist, sexist, and anti-Semitic comments on a porn website's message board more than a decade ago. In addition to referring to himself as a, quote, black Nazi, Robinson said he supported the return of slavery, writing, quote, slavery is not bad. Some people need to be slaves. I wish they would bring slavery back. I would certainly buy a few. Robinson, who currently serves as North Carolina's first black lieutenant governor, also saying back in 2012 that he would prefer former Nazi leader Adolf Hitler over President Barack Obama, writing, quote, I'd take Hitler over any of the shit that's in Washington right now. Robinson also maligning civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr., attacking King so viciously that another commentator on the porn site accused Robinson of being a white supremacist. Robinson also posting a series of anti-Semitic, Islamophobic, and homophobic slurs against Jewish, Muslim, and gay people. His comments so offensive, I won't read them. And despite Robinson's recent history of anti-transgender bigotry, he proudly posted on the porn website Nude Africa about the pleasure he got watching trans porn. Robinson writing, quote, I like watching tranny on girl porn. That's effing hot. It takes the man out while leaving the man in. And yeah, I'm a perv too. The North Carolina native has repeatedly attacked trans people while running for public office, saying they should be arrested for using bathrooms that conform with their gender identity. And all of this comes as Politico reports that an email address belonging to Robinson was registered on Ashley Madison, a website designed for married people seeking affairs. Robinson has denied all of CNN and Politico's reporting, pledging to stay in the race for governor. Those are not the words of Mark Robinson. You know my words, you know my character, and you know that I have been completely transparent in this race and before. Uh, folks, this race right now, our opponents are desperate to sit, shift the focus here from the substantive issues and focus on what you are concerned with to salacious tra tabloid trash. We cannot allow that to happen. And folks, we've seen this type of stuff in the past as well. Clarence Thomas famously once said he was the victim of a high-tech lynching. Well, it looks like Mark Robinson is too, by a man who refuses to stand on stage and debate me about the real issues that face you. Instead, they want to focus on salacious tabloid lies. We're not going to let them do that. We are staying in this race. We are in it to win it. But even before this latest shocking news about Robinson, the Trump-backed candidate has a long history of making inflammatory statements including calling abortion murder and genocide, despite he and his wife choosing to have an abortion. Robinson also calling the Holocaust, quote, hogwash, and gay people, quote, filth, and condoning murder, saying, quote, some folks need killing. For me, there is no compromise on abortion. It makes no difference to me why or how that child ended up in that womb. There's no reason anybody anywhere in America should be telling any child about transgenderism, homosexuality, any of that filth. And yes, I called it filth. And we are called, to, here we're getting ready to get in trouble, called to be led by men. The Christian patriots of this nation will own this nation and rule this nation. 
I got them AR-15s in case the government gets too big for its britches. Because I'm going to fill the backside of them britches with some lead. So listening to that, you might think, wow, North Carolina must be a really, really conservative state. But it's actually not. Trump won the Tar Heel state by just over one point in 2020. And the state's current two-term governor is Democrat Roy Cooper. So why has Robinson been chosen as the Republican nominee for governor in the very moderate southeastern state? Donald Trump loves him. He's been an unbelievable lieutenant governor, Mark Robinson. This is Martin Luther King on steroids. I think you're better than Martin Luther King. I think you are Martin Luther King times two. Mark Robinson, he's out there. He's fighting. He's fighting. He's a great one. I want to thank a very good man, and he's in there fighting. He's fighting, and we know he's a fighter. The next governor of North Carolina, Mark Robinson. Trump literally calling Robinson, quote, Martin Luther King on steroids. And this is what happens when a political party is taken over by a man who values loyalty above everything else. You can call yourself a Nazi, defend slavery, mock teen survivors of school shootings, and Trump will back you as long as you support him. But it, is, it increasingly appears Robinson has become an albatross around Trump's neck. Both Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris see North Carolina as key to their path to 270 electoral votes and the presidency. Currently, the two are tied in the state according to 538's polling average, with Robinson running anywhere between 13 to 5 percentage points behind his Democratic opponent for governor, the state's Jewish Attorney General, Josh Stein. But remember, Trump will share a ballot with Robinson in November. And while split ticket voting does happen, if even a few people look at Robertson and it sours them on Trump, that could matter greatly to not only if Trump or Harris wins North Carolina's 16 electoral votes, but who wins the presidency. Trump knows this well, and that is why he is scheduled to campaign in North Carolina this weekend. And Republicans have already spent more than $12 million on television ads propping up Robinson. Meanwhile, Democrats are already up with new ads in North Carolina tying Trump to Robinson. And he's been an unbelievable Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson. For me, there's no compromise on abortion. I think you're better than Martin Luther King. We could pass a bill and say you can't have an abortion in North Carolina for any reason. The abortion in this country is about killing a child because you aren't responsible enough to keep your skirt down. I've been with him a lot. I've gotten to know him and he's outstanding. Donald Trump and Mark Robinson, they're both wrong for North Carolina. I'm Kamala Harris, and I approve this message. Will any of this make a difference? I'm not sure. But what I hope is that North Carolinians, along with all Americans, remember what Oprah so wisely said at the DNC. Vote your values. Thank you for watching Graphs Grievances. Let me know what you think. Please like, subscribe, share, and join me in the next one.